one minute we look like a legit playoff contender. The next minute we look like a rebuilding team. And frankly, the entire NFL kind of looked like that week to week, team to team, because I'm not sure who's really good, to be honest. Um, it started out magical. That cam entry gave me uh, goosebumps and something I'll always remember. That was just fabulous. Um, and Cam was Cam, frankly. 21 and 27, 189, two touchdowns, uh, and one rushing great block by uh, Ian Thomas on that 24 yard rush. The energy he brings is just unmatched. Um, but our, our defense was terrible today. Uh, making Taylor Heineke no disrespect because he's played some quality NFL football. Uh, but I think our defense kind of made him look like Peyton Manning uh, today. And Dante Jackson had a rough day at the office. Everybody on the defensive side had a rough day at the office. Frankly, this game came down to third and fourth downs. Uh, the Washington football team was um, 8 of 16 both uh, on third and fourth down combined, and we were three for 12. That's not gonna get it done, and it started off so magical for four first downs and a touchdown, the fake run, jump pass to DJ Moore, and then a three and out by Washington. Um, I think we got a little too cute with our third and short plays um, and couldn't convert them, and our, our um, Wide receivers and Christian McCaffrey didn't get depth on some of those. Brandon Zilstra and Christian McCaffrey on the late ones in the fourth quarter. Um, that didn't help. And some pressure um, against John Miller on the last sack attempted run by Cam on that fourth and two. So I think we're getting too cute on the uh, third and fourth and shorts. And I don't think we used Christian McCaffrey enough. Uh, especially in those last three drives. I think he only, he didn't rush the ball and was targeted only once on uh, that last drive. And it's third and two. I don't care if they know he's going to get the ball. He's unstoppable. He's an unstoppable force, and I don't think we used him enough in the second half. 97-yard drive and a great scheme and play call on the connection to Cam uh to Christian McCaffrey from Cam. Nice, nicely thrown ball. Somebody told me Cam can't throw. Well, he can. Um, the defense was just terrible today. Um, we gave up a third, and, a third and nine, a fourth and six, which was just a complete bust of coverage late in the half. Um, Terry McLaurin ate Dante Jackson's lunch. And frankly, the entire... Secondary was playing Where's Waldo today, so uh, this one's on the defense, no doubt. And I thought that um, Phil Snow, who's been phenomenal all year long with his play calls, was too conservative. It's Taylor Heineke. It's not Tom Brady. It's not uh, Herbert. It's not um, Josh Allen. I think you could have tried to heat him up a little more, tried to make him uncomfortable in the pocket. I know. Washington football team has a great offensive line, and they exploited that. They rushed for 190 today. We just kind of got manhandled the opposite of what happened last week. We manhandled Arizona, and Washington football team uh, manhandled us. Scheme-wise, coaching-wise, especially defensively, I liked a lot of our, our plays offensively. Uh, just went dry in the mid-second, third quarter, because we can't ever score in the third quarter. I think it's a rule. Um, but uh, the fourth and two pitch to, um, was a fantastic play call to help set up that scoring drive. So there's a lot of good, and I know Cam was limited in terms of the playbook, but limited or not, he did enough to win this ball game. We just couldn't get the ball back on third and fourth downs and giving it away with third and 21 after Hassan Reddick got a sack and we allowed them to make it third, fourth and manageable and Taylor Heineke did some magic and uh, a nice catch 
by one of their backup tight ends. I gotta give him credit there. I don't really know how he made that catch, but uh, you just gotta be better. And the coaching staff uh, kind of let Dante get burned too much by Terry McLaurin. We finally put um, Gilmore on Terry, but it was a little too late because Terry had already lit us up for some big plays, and uh, everybody has a rough day at the office, um, and we just couldn't step up enough. They did force a couple of field goals to give us that chance, but you got to have depth on your routes to help Cam out, and the pressure, um, the offensive line wasn't as good and crisp as last week. I thought we abandoned the run a little too much too, but it, it's just one of those years where I, I don't I don't know what we're gonna get week to week, and but I do know this this one was not on Cam was not on the offense. Um, offensive line was a little scratchy, but again it again there was enough there. If we could get enough stops on fourth down, get the other team off the field. But we couldn't do that in the, to end the first half, and then they drove it down our throats in to begin the second half. So that was kind of the – they kind of handed it to us in, in that sense. And we battled back with a nice 97-yard drive. The pass back to Christian McCaffrey to Tommy Trimble. Absolutely love that. So a lot of good today, but the defense – just had no idea what was going on and uh, I think we were just played a little too passive and having three of our losses be to the Eagles who have turned it on of late but weren't anywhere near where they are now at home having a 15 nothing lead the Giants you only score three points that's on the offense and then uh, the Washington football team in this type of game where it was a great great opportunity to make a statement, and instead, Ron Rivera and company made a statement, especially without Trey, uh, um, Chase Young, the great defender for Washington football team. It makes it a little worse, too, but our defense just could not stop a nosebleed today, plain and simple. But as always, keep pounding. Who knows what's going to happen? Just got to keep fighting. And got to find a way to defend our own dirt because we're on a four-game losing streak at BOA. And that is not like like Panthers, Panthers teams. We've been bad, but we've still been able to scratch and claw at home. And that's not been the case this year. So we've got to figure that out. But is what it is. And Ron Rivera is one hell of a coach. So i got to tip my cap there. But it re this one really, really stinks. But... You just got to keep pounding.